for you to be able to pick the, the frequency, the signal of your spirit like this, whether your stomach is full or whether your stomach is not full, all right? Whether your body is crying and your soul is shouting, it is because you have realized that I need this and so you have occasioned the state of affair where you found a way to silence the body, to silence the soul, so that you can get used to the voice of the spirit. The spirit naturally is the component that must provide leadership for your body. But because your spirit is also the innermost part of your being, it is not the part of your being that you are mostly in touch with if you do not make effort, right? Your natural senses, they are the most external, they are the loudest part of your senses in, in terms of the constitution. Then there is the soulish sense and then there's your spiritual sense. That progression, you are going from the external to the internal. You are coming from outside to inside. And the, the farther in you go, the quieter it gets. And from inside, the further out you come, the louder it gets. So that the voice of your body usually will be louder than the voice of your spirit. So if care is not taken, the I am hungry, I am hungry, the I am hungry of your body. If you are not careful, that might be the only I am hungry <laughs> that you will hear for a long time. And the spirit is there saying, I am hungry, I am hungry, I am hungry. Huh? Before the I am hungry of the spirit, will be able to make its way and secure the attention of your being. It might have been drowned out by your soul and by your body. So, part of what you will need to do sometimes in order to help to pull out and to give strength to the vocal cords of your spirit is to deny the other loud guys is to deny them fuel when you don't give them fuel it, it, then it, they, 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 they start to become humble you need to learn therefore sometimes that in order for you to be able to get to the point where if your spirit whispers you will hear okay you need to train yourself. And the way to do that is to create apertures for the spirit to have less competition. Having less competition therefore helps you to be able to identify, to get used to familiarize with the voice of your spirit. It's like, I used to give the example. If you know if you know somebody's uh, voice very well the person you are close to the person and then the person is traveled maybe the person is traveled out of the country when they arrive their destination the host gives them the phone so that they can call back before they secure their own phone or something like that. and so they call you with a foreign number that you don't have and then you are like who is this who is this who is this in Joshua in Canada because you are using true color Canada who is calling you from Canada who is then you now pick the call. As soon as you hear the person's voice, you now say, ah, James, are you the one? I'm like, yes, ah, how do you know I'm the one? I'm like, what do you mean, how do I know you're the one? Even if I'm sleeping and I hear your voice, will I not know? You know the voice of James, right? How did you know it is James? If the first time you were hearing the voice of James was in the noise of Terminus Market, you will not be able to isolate that voice. But you see, having heard the voice of James in a controlled environment for long enough, when you hear the same voice in the midst of competing voices, you will be able to isolate that particular voice and identify it for who he is, irrespective of how many other people are speaking.